This is a MSI own one that somebody dropped off. It's a model number uh, MS6657. All right. Um, the complaint is that there's a virus on the computer, and and what I really uh, re what I really like about this is it's got an external VGA port. You can hook up to an external monitor, which is really nice. There's two panels in the back. One's here, and one's over there. I already took the screws out. This one's tethered. You pop this open. You, know, you kind of got have to get more than one finger underneath. It is tethered, so you're just going to flip it back. Okay, and there's your wireless network. What I really like is right there is where the hard drive is. That's the SATA hookup right there for the hard drive. I can't see it going all the way over to where the C, the CD-ROM, DVD-ROM is. And has ventilation. It sure looks like a rack in there for the hard drive. Uh, but there's no access port. It would be nice if there was a big door right here that you could take off and, um, and get to the hard drive. Alright, so uh, let's go over to this one. Uh, this is pretty nice though. This uh, has little, they, there's a little finger things you can get your fingers underneath. This is not tethered. Uh, there's your memory chips. Okay, so it takes laptop style memory chips. Um, so that's a pretty nice thing. So what it looks like to me here is that I'm going to have to take this whole back off just to get to that hard drive. Uh, that's the only thing I'm going to do is take the hard drive out and put it back in. I know that some of you guys out there want to know how to uh, change out the fans and all that. I'll probably clean the fans if they're dirty too. Uh, but I'm not going to pull out the processor. I'm not pulling out the motherboard because this is a good working computer. All right, so uh, it is a customer's computer, and I'm not going to be liable for damage in that area. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, see about getting inside this. The only thing is uh, there's only screws in the back, and they go all the way around. And um, and there's a void if removed sticker right here, and it looks like somebody's already been in it because it's uh, it's broken. All right, at least uh, it's, punch it's, it's pushed in. Uh, so uh, there's a reason why that's there, void if removed. And now on desktops, if you replace the hard drive, there's no void of the warranty. So so uh, why they would do that just to change the hard drive, I don't know. Um, so anyway, here we go. I removed um, eight very small, very small Phillips head screws. They're magnetic, so you can actually pull them out with a screwdriver, a magnetic screwdriver. These days, uh, magnetic screwdrivers are safe to be used around hard drives. They have a shield, so you're safe. Now, um, one thing I had to do is I had to pull the uh, cover off of the CD-ROM drive. Uh, you have to be very careful because you don't want to break the clips. I'll show you how to do that after I take this off. I'll put it back on and show you what I did to take that off. It'll just be easier doing that. Now, what I did is I started over here, lifting it up on the far end, working my way this way until I got stuck with that and then I had to take it off. But I'll tell you right now, up on top, uh, I didn't know what was going on, so it sounded like I was breaking things. So, um, and then you're going to just ride it along the, the, stand, the stand. You don't have to take the stand off. Let me show you the clips on top. The clips are going in, uh, so you have to pull them out this way, going out that way, which is to the top. So there's really no way uh, to, to do that. Uh, so when, when it's on like this, you want to pick up the bottom first and lift it up as much as you can. You can't move very much with this thing here, but you can't do anything with that until you take this off and then perhaps you can get to the screws if you need to do that. The motherboard is very small. Okay, it is a desktop style hard drive, a SATA hard drive with a bracket around it. And there's a Phillips head screwdriver there, a screw there, and one underneath. Is there, is there, nope, that's a slot, and that's the slot. So this thing, when it, when it undoes, there's a cables running alongside this. You got to be careful about those cables. So it looks like uh, I might be able to pull the hard drive out without even taking the rack out. Un, un, uh, un, disconnect the connectors right here. I'm sorry, I'm in the light. So uh, the light's on the other side now. I'll try going low. It's one single connector. Move it back and forth, work it off. And there it is, it's a single connector, and I'm going to put it underneath it, all right? It's, uh, there's two screws on each side. Right, I'm going to take the smaller of the screwdrivers, if it's that kind, yep. And uh, actually I'm going to use a larger screwdriver. That fits and it works very well. Be careful you don't drop these, I hate dropping stuff, so grab it and uh, pull it out. To the safe, and it does clear the speaker, so... Uh, well, the other side, don't move this guy around. You don't want to damage stuff. 
Now I'm not going to be able to get my finger on that, I don't think. Maybe? Yep, there you go. Didn't cut my nails yet. <laughs> so I'm going to come on this side, get this screw. They're very short screws. I'm keeping them all together. I have the eight uh, other screws on the other side to put the back back on. And while I have this off and I'm scanning this hard drive, I'll take you on a tour around the inside of this computer. Um, and do that. I'll have the camera off the tripod. Uh, this guy, well, I hope I can get it out. I can't go that way. There's a bracket underneath. And I have to clear the motherboard. I'm going to have to pull this thing out. That's crazy. All right. So the cables, you got to be careful. There's a clip here. You pull the clip out and lift the cables up. There's three cables to total. You have to put all of them back in when you're done. All right. So three cables came up. I don't think I have to disconnect them. All right. There's a wire going from the speaker across it. I think we're going to be okay on that. I don't see any uh, wires over there. So what I'm going to do is unscrew that screw over there. We, we had to take those four screws out anyway. It's just now i got to be careful I don't drop the hard drive while I'm removing this case. So uh, take that screw and put it over there. It looks about the same, same as the other four screws, but I'm keeping it separate from those. And I'm going to slide this that way to unlatch. Yeah, that, okay, we got tape. Okay, so pull the tape back for the speaker. All right, and just pull the wire back, slide this back, and it comes up. It's going to come up right off the hard drive. See, the hard drive is already uh, disconnected. So I'm going to bring the hard drive up with it. You don't want to touch that circuit, circuit board because the hard drive is still good, and there it is. So uh, that's the hard drive. You're going to slide it out this way because there's a lip right here, and you have the hard drive. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. Okay, the, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you about this uh, plate I had to take off of the CD-ROM drive. So uh, that's going to be the, the tricky part, but it actually is very easy once you, once you get it down pat. So make sure you watch this entire video, and I'm going to state, state that in the beginning uh, before you do anything. All right? Okay, consider the top being still on. Okay, you have to take this hard drive out, and right now it's all the way in, no power on it, you can't get the hard drive out. Take yourself a paper clip, straighten out one end, and stick it into the emergency eject port, and uh, the drive comes out. Now, there's some clips around here, and it's hard to actually point out uh, where the clips are. So I'm going to um, I'm going to take my big light here that has a lot of wire to it, and I'm going to uh, bring it around on this side. It's a really large light. So I want to show you there's, there's a clip right here. You have to push that clip in and this side pops out. Okay, that's your first step. All right, let me put my light back on. The stand where it is. And I'm going to probably have to turn this around to show you anything else. But there's one piece here, there's another piece there, there's a clip right in here. So I'm going to bring the camera on the other side, it's going to be a little shaking here. Bring it over here. Turn, uh, make sure the surface is clear so I can turn the monitor around. All right. Okay, here we go, right next to the light. Turn this around so you can see it maybe. And it's right there. I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver. It's right here. There's a little thing on top. Now, I'm telling you, this, this thing, you want to be really careful that you don't damage these clips. You're not going to get this thing back on if you do that. So you need to push this thing down. It was not easy to do and it comes right off. Okay, first of all, I didn't have to remove the two panels, the one panel here and the one panel there. I put back on before I took the top off. The back off, they do not need to come off independently. Alright, there's your processor right there. Uh, that's your CPU fan. You can't see underneath it, which is a really bad thing. Uh, I'm going to, I see there's some dust in there, and I'm going to uh, take a compressor out and actually blow this out, get all the dust out while the top, top's off. That's what I do with all computers anyway. Uh, there's your memory chips, and uh, there's your VGA connector I pointed out before. All right. Uh, up here is your, uh, your uh, battery, and it looks to me like you're going to have to order this uh, probably off of eBay or um, 
or a MSI if you want it. It's not a generic. Uh, it's got a plug that comes down here, so you're going to have to buy that whole assembly. Up here is your camera and your microphone coming down to here. All right, this is your connection to your monitor. And here's your connection that goes underneath uh, to some place. I don't know where the orange comes up. And it's right down here. It's your SATA hookup for your uh, CD-ROM drive. And uh, unfortunately, you'd have to take this whole back out, pop these screws off all the way around to get the CD-ROM drive actually out. So um, this uh, video might come in handy for you if you're doing any of this. So right now this is where the hard drive tray was and uh, just um, uh, the two speakers down here. Alright, so that's about it in the sum. Alright, very small motherboard. Uh, that's the model number right there if you had to order it. It looks very easy to take out. Alright, I uh, mounted the hard drive back into the, the bracket. And what you want to do is uh, set this on top. Be careful you don't hit any circuit boards when you put it in. Alright, then you want to line these two on top of the two pegs. There's one, there's one peg right here and one peg back there. Be careful these wires that we need to put back, back in and also your speaker wire down here that we removed the tape or lifted the tape. So we're going to slide this in underneath the wires. Alright. And uh, go. You have the the big slot has to go on top of the pin on both sides, and then slide it back. All right. Before we screw it down, we want to put our tape back for our speaker. Push, press it back down there, and that's our speaker. These three wires, we want to put one at a time, and just slide it in all, all the way down. Let's get the light light really down there. All right. Um, Slide those three down there. We're going to hook up our connector. Only goes on one way. Just wiggle it back and forth and press it on. That's all the way on. We're going to take our one screw that we set aside and it's perfectly lined up over here. Uh, you know what? We're not. There's a bracket to be. Okay, we're going to be careful here. We got these in. There's a bracket on the other side there that I'm going to just slide it through, pop it in, and slide it back. So I didn't see that before. So you have two brackets here, one there that have to be slid through. Alright, so definitely look it over and make sure and then we're going to take this one screw without dropping on them on any boards and slide it in and put it down. Okay, and that's how you put the hard drive back in. Okay, one thing I did uh, that I said I would do is I cleaned out the fan so it's nice to, uh, at least looking through there and underneath it all looks pretty clean. Alright, I'm going to do one look around. I have this hooked up. I have the screw in. Cables are in. Tape for the speaker is down. Everything looks good. Alright, I'm going to stick the stand through the hole and bring it down. I'm going to start up on top where I ended. Put those guys down. Push those guys down and hopefully they'll click in. They're not coming back up. I just click everything down. It's not, it, it didn't make very much noise at all. So put your uh, eight screws back in. You don't need to see me do that. Okay, so just put the eight screws back in. I'm going to bring you back to show you how to put the uh, put the uh, CD-ROM cover back on. There's something I want to correct myself on. I thought this was a lanyard. Uh, I want to show you this before I put this back on the cover back on. But that connector is the same connector that hooks up to the wireless network. All right, but it's uh, it's coiled up and ran, and it comes over to here to the TV hookup. Uh, that's a really old TV hookup. So so just uh, just letting you know, um, letting you know that that is not a regular lanyard. That's a wire that's not used, and they just coiled it up. Why they actually left that on, I don't know. It just didn't block it off like they did over here. I just don't know. Okay, take your uh, paper clip, and there's a little hole right there. Pop, pop it in there, and it comes out. All right, so you see where this paper clip? Watch that, that latch right there. It unlatches, and that's how your emergency eject actually works. So we're going to take our our cover. We're going to start where we last 
place to, uh, took off. So this clip is going to go into that slot. I'm going to hold the CD-ROM and just push it in. All right, it's going to go in. We have a, a part here that's going to line up and come over. The big thing is this guy over here. I want to try and get some more light over here. So bear with me. I hope I don't hit the camera. All right. This uh, this slot's going to end up going in here, and there's a little knob that has to go into a hole. That's right there. All right. So as long as that knob goes into that hole, you're going to be fine. So we're going to push these on, hold, hold the CD-ROM drive on top bottom, and push push these in. All right, and once they're in, they're not going to come back off. And slide the drive back in, and there you go. All right, that's it. So that's how you uh, change out a hard drive on a uh, MSI um, model uh, MS6657. Uh, Subscribe and see more.